Uh, we welcome, of course, Dr. Sri Najib's statement uh, because this validates issues on electoral reform raised by Pakatan Lakyat and Bersih 2.0. And we consider it a huge feat and win for democratic forces in Malaysia. However, considering the Prime Minister's flawed track record with regards to fulfilling his promises in the past, because the stadium, as everyone is well aware, have made a suspect this pronouncement as nearly a diversionary tactic. Furthermore, nothing is stopping UMNO BN from allowing immediate greater media access, television and print, to the opposition if they really are against censorship. And, no, and nothing is stopping UMNO BN government from immediately addressing the flaws highlighted thus far regarding the irregularities in the electoral road which has eroded the credibility of the Election Commission and the National Registration Department. Hence the call we are making for the government to have and initiate a public hearing. Now with regards to the terms of reference uh, of the Select Committee, we demand that the following conditions be fulfilled. Number one, to complete the intent beyond a mere gesture or window dressing, the head of the Parliamentary Committee must be from the opposition. Number two, the committee should have powers to investigate, validate and recommend sweeping changes and sufficient authority and budget must be allocated to the select committee. Number three, investigations should involve an independent audit to the current electoral process and systems by globally recognized firms. At the same time, the election commission, and I mean now, must be held to account for all its seemingly <coughs> partisan actions tulis kenyataan artikel dalam Sina, sedang pembangkang dan sebagainya which have led to the erosion of public confidence. Reforms must be enacted to the election commission itself in order to restore integrity to this institution that is supposed to safeguard our democracy. Number four, validation should include fair hearing of all issues and recommendations be it from political parties, civil societies and academia. This means the select committee can actually make a lot of visits down to the ground, meeting the rakyat and various stakeholders before they come up with the recommendations. And number five, a study to compare and adopt global best practices should be commissioned and tabled for consideration of the parliamentary committee. As this matter needs wide-ranging coordination, analysis reports, a dedicated program management unit sourced from a credible firm is to be at the disposal of the committee. And finally, this reform must be finalised, announced and completed in total, in full, before the 13th general election. You cannot have a select committee at the same time before anything is completed, you call for general election. Untuk satu uh, select committee, parliamentary select committee, untuk membuat kerja mereka, mereka memerlukan masa sekurang-kurangnya lebih daripada satu tahun. Dan Untuk select committee untuk ditubuhkan uh, mesti ditubuhkan di parlimen. Jadi uh, sidang parlimen akan sambung Oktober 3. Jadi kalau pilihan raya uh, diadakan pada hujung tahun ini, saya rasa select committee uh, yang diumumkan oleh Perdana Menteri adalah satu red herring. Tapi saya tak tahu macam mana nak cakap dalam bahasa Melayu. What have to say? Hello, hello. It's it's like a you know a smoke screen. Kalau Perdana Menteri betul-betul ikhlas untuk membersihkan uh, electoral roll uh, sebelum pilihan raya uh, ke-13 untuk pilih uh, select committee jawatan kuasa pilihan khas parlimen ini untuk uh, menjalankan tugas mereka secara betul he has to give us a commitment that general elections will not be held until the select committee has finished their jobs their job they have already presented the report to parliament and that the reforms are in place kalau tidak this is just mind mind sahaja so i think we also have to be aware of that fact that a select committee saya akan ulang select committee akan mengambil sekurang-kurangnya lebih daripada 1 tahun kalau kita lihat Bagaimana kita ada select committee untuk uh, enactment, um, enactment freedom of information, uh, uh, 
kebebasan maklumat di peringkat dun sahaja itu telah mengambil hampir sembilan bulan dan satu proses yang amat intensif untuk mengkaji semula uh, electoral roll dan juga electoral process uh, itu akan tentu mengambil lebih daripada satu tahun so we want a commitment from the prime minister that if he is sincere about really cleaning up the roads uh, improving our electoral system then he has to give us the promise and the commitment that elections the next general elections will not be held until the parliamentary select committee finishes their job